Welcome to this session on modeling angled roof beams. Now the roof of our building slopes in two directions. In this session, we will model the steel beams to match the slope of the architectural roof. We will utilize AccuDraw to define the slope. Set the floor selector to floor roof, top of steel roof. Then use the steel column tool to place four example roof steel columns catalog items along grid line A. Since they will be the same as the columns we placed earlier, we can actually use the match icon to match all the settings of those columns. And then set the length to 4 feet or 1287.5 millimeters. Then place by snapping to the tops of the columns along grid line A. Now open the reference dialog and turn on the display of the architectural master model. Then open the level display dialog and turn off the display of all the architectural levels except the A roof level. And apply that to all the open views. Ensure that the ACS plane lock is on and the ACS plane snap lock is off. To only see along specific grid lines in our views, we'll take advantage of the clip volume capability. From the view tools on view one, select the clip volume tool. In the create clip volume tool settings dialog, select the section clip tools. Select the fitted section parallel to the front plane. Toggle on display clip element and set the drawing seed to example structural elevation full sheet. Then left click in view one to create the clip volume. You now have a fitted section that is parallel to the front plane of the model. You can select the clip volume boundary and use the edit handles to adjust the cut plane. and then the back plane to display the column grid line one. Now rotate the clipped view to a front orientation. For the main roof, we will place the steel beams using place by two points and snap to the top of each column. The heights of the columns were already set to match the roof slope. But for the lower roof, we will need to follow the slope of the architectural roof. So from the ribbon interface, structural tab, select the steel beam tool. In the property panel, set the catalog item to example roof steel beam. Review the properties. In the place ribbon, set the placement to top center. Set the X and Y offset to zero, but set the base offset to minus two inches or minus 50 millimeters. Toggle interactive off and set the rotation to zero. Set the place by method to two points. Turn on automatic coping and cope to members connected by AccuSnap. Your structural snap should be turned on. Following the prompts and going from right to left in our front view, enter the first point for placement at the top of the roof column at grid F1. Continue to snap to the top of the roof columns to finish placing the beams along grid lines E1, D1, C1, and B1. Now we need to place a beam from grid line A1 to B1. We can snap to the top of the roof column at grid A1. However, we do not have a top of column to snap to for the endpoint of the beam. We really just want to match the angle of the architectural roof. So we can use AccuDraw's RE shortcut to define the angle. With the focus in AccuDraw, you can press F11 if the focus is not in AccuDraw. Type RE 
the Place Beam command is temporarily suspended. Following the prompt, select the architectural roof element to match the angle of that element. Press Enter to lock the AccuDraw axis. Use the AccuDraw N shortcut to change the snap mode to nearest for the next snap point. Snap to the column at grid line B1 and accept the point for the end of the beam. To finish the angled roof beams, delete the clip volume. Display off the architectural reference. In the front view, select the five beams just placed. Moving to either the top or the ISO view, copy the beams to the remaining column lines. Complete the framing by connecting the columns in the opposite direction. You should now have completed the framing for the three-story office building. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.